What if this red square here was a machine, a machine that produced a poisonous gas? And as long as you were in the same room as this poisonous gas machine, then you lost health over time. So as soon as you destroy it, and it doesn't exist anymore, it won't, it'll just stop. Everything will be back to normal. Well, there's a way that we can do that. I mean, losing health over time, that's simply using an, uh, an alarm. So as we would usually do, we'd have to create an alarm to say, you'd say, after so many steps, make your health one less, reduce it by one. And then you'd have the alarm set itself and it would keep going round in that circular motion. But now we want to put the condition within this red object here because this red object is the one that's going to be the one producing the gas. This is the one that's going to be damaging you and it all depends on the existence of this object. So we're going to have to put it in this object but then that leads to a problem. The object itself has health and we want health to go down but we don't want its own health to go down. What we'd want to do is we want to reduce the health of the control object. Now there's a way we can do that. First of all, let's just set the alarm. So alarm zero equals, let's say every 40 steps. Alarm zero equals 40. Add the vent alarm zero. And we have the code. We have the code to reset the alarm. And we want to have the fair health minus equals one. Now, if I did that, it would reduce its own health by one every 40 steps. But I don't want to do that. I want to do that for the control object. So what I would have to do, it was have to, I'd have to specify that I'm talking about the object control. So obj control, that's the name of the object, dot. So that's saying object control dot fair health minus equals one. And the dot basically represents belongs to. So whatever's on the right, fair health, if it belongs to the object control, that minus equals one. It goes down by one over time. So now that happens to the control object rather than itself. So that's quite that's quite handy. There is one problem with that though, is that you have to notice that this is talking about the object control itself, not the particular instance, which is fine in this case. But if you wanted to make it so that it, say if you had the, the red machine thing, go back to our room, so you had the, the red machine thing damages the green monsters because they are a particular species that is affected by the gas or whatever, if you then put in, if you then change that to object green, as it's called, then basically that would affect all of the object green. 